What's up YouTube? My name is Marvin and today I'm actually going to show you how to package an amplifier for shipment. So I recently sold my Mesa mini rectifier, you've probably seen it a lot on my channel. And um, yeah, it's time to pack it up. I'm going to show you exactly how I would recommend packing a, um, an amplifier. So I'm shipping a tube amplifier. Don't mind the uh, camera angle because it's kind of crap. First you want to get a really big box that's not too big, but make sure it's enough space for you to put lots of padding around it because you're going to need a lot of bubble wrap. You want to pack it as much as you can to make sure that nothing moves inside the box. The key thing, make sure nothing moves inside the box. When there's movement, that's a chance for it to break. Take lots of tape. I'm just taping the bottom to make sure it doesn't break anything. Some might call it obsessive or excessive, but you really want to make sure that everything is 100%. Make sure you use a good quality box. That's just for the bottom. Now, if you can't find a box that's good for your amp, you can check out your local uh, retailer for music. Uh, it could be like Guitar Center, Sam Ash, anywhere that sells music stuff. They probably have some laying around. Uh, they should be free if you ask them, or maybe they'll charge you a couple bucks, but better safe than sorry, you know? Now, I have this mountain load of bubble wrap here, as you can see. I'm probably going to use all of it and use even more than what you see here. The way that I'm shipping this, because I have a lot of little parts, I'm actually selling it with this handy gig bag that I've had for it. So if you can include something like that, it's even more assuring that it'll come uh, perfectly uh, safe. The first thing you want to do when you have, when you're packing something to ship, make sure you have everything before you start packing it. So, you know, check the pockets if you left stuff inside. Whatever you have in your description of what you're selling, make sure you have everything included. So I have my foot switch that I'm including. I have fuses that I've included, a spare LED strip for the um, for our buyer. I have the bag itself. Wow, see, this is my speaker cable. I was not including this. <laughs> so that uh, stays with me. Power cable and the actual amplifier itself. When you're shipping a tube amplifier or something with tubes, take the tubes out of the amplifier and package them separately. If you can put them in maybe a small box or something that can, um, just keep it separate outside of this, it'd be a good idea. You can uh, just put in some bubble wrap and then put it into a box that goes inside that box just to ensure that the tubes are safe. Now, when taking the tubes out, you wanna make sure you mark them because some amplifiers have specific tubes for specific spots. So I'm gonna do that right now. For this particular amp, it's really easy to take the cap off, the, uh, the cover, you just, uh, Take a drill. You also don't want to do this if your amp was on for a little bit. You want to make sure the tubes are not hot because they're more fragile when they're warm. Cap should come right off. And as you can see, or as you can hopefully see, I'll move the camera. There you go. You can see the tubes right there. That should be a good angle. Now, if you've never taken tubes out of your amplifier of replaced tubes, it's actually really simple. So you're just going to use a rocking motion. You grab the tube with a firm but gentle grip. You don't want to squeeze the tube. You just want to make sure you have it strong. You're going to rock it around in a circle like this and gently pull it up and you'll feel it coming out. And there you go. You can draw a little diagram, put it on a sheet of paper and show exactly where your tubes were. But what I'm going to do is as I remove each tube, I'm going to label them with some bubble wrap with a black marker and just put it around it just to protect it, which you should be doing anyway. And you're going to mark which one is which, and you're going to draw the diagram on the paper so that your buyer knows exactly how to put them back. I'm just pulling up the manual really quick. Basically, I'm pulling up the actual configuration of the tubes. But this shows you the tube guide, if you can see that. So that tells you exactly what tube controls what aspect of the amp and when you put the tubes in it'll tell you which one was where i'm going to start with v1 pull them out and then you're going to wrap it in bubble wrap not too much but just enough just to keep it safe you know you're going to put this in another box just to you know just to be careful take some bubble wrap take the tube wrap it in maybe fold it up 
wrap it up again. And then, like I said, you're going to mark that little wrap with what tube that is. So you see it's nice and protected. Add a little bit of tape just to hold everything together. Now your tube is wrapped. This, I said, is V1. So you can write that. You can even use the side with tape with a permanent marker. And that's it. Now my, my buyer knows that this is the V1 tube that I originally had. And what you want to do is keep going with the rest of the tubes until they're all wrapped up like this. Then you're going to find a box and put them in a box, like a separate box, and you can label it as the tubes. Okay, now that we have our tubes on the side, we're going to put the cover back on the amp, the screws, and then finish it with the screwdriver. Now the amplifier is ready to be wrapped. Before you do that, don't forget to draw your tube guide. Okay, so something simple, just so your buyer knows how to put things back where they belong. When you're packing your amplifier, this is obviously the most important thing. You want to take really nice premium bubble wrap and you want to just wrap it around. Make sure that it's just really nice and tight. For me, I'm actually going to ship it inside the bag, but wrap the amplifier in the bubble wrap anyway, just to make it extra secure and safe. Now that'll fit in there, but I'm going to add another layer of bubble wrap. This is a padded gig bag anyway, but it wasn't exactly designed for this amplifier. My amplifier just luckily fit inside. So I'm going to take another layer of bubble wrap, push it inside on the bottom. I'm going to put the amp on top of that. Like so. Just get it to fit in there so it has extra. Then take some padding or bubble wrap and double it and put it on the sides. Honestly, you can't put too much padding, so don't ever worry about that because you'd rather your amplifier get there in one piece than for it to come and something's broken. Now you know that's nice and secure. It's got bubble wrap all around, including the bubble wrap that I taped onto it. You've got your power cable. Personally, I've seen people wrap power cables where they're like this, and I'm not a very big fan of that. I prefer to have them like this because you're less likely to uh, bend the ends and have them short out and break. So just like this, I'm gonna take some more bubble wrap, not too much because this is just the cable, Place it with the uh, bubble sides down, put it in here. You can just simply wrap it like this, maybe go like that. Just have nice one layer and then just tape the sides. This should stay, but tape the sides so it doesn't fall out of the bubble wrap. And there you go, see? This side won't open in transit because you wrapped it around. That can go right on top. I'm gonna do the same thing with the foot switch. Nice and bubble wrapped. This is gonna go on the side of the gig bag. I have the extra um, spare fuses and the LED strip. This is very fragile. So I'm gonna put this in a separate bubble wrap envelope and put that on the side of the amp. Place it inside. Well, actually, try and get it as small as you can when you're doing it like this. So it's gonna get wrapped up just like that. I'm going to put that inside, and I'm going to fold it very carefully to make sure that I don't bend it, but just to give it some extra padding so you don't have to use your bubble wrap because the paper and the bubble wrap inside will build up as you roll it and just give it more padding. This already has adhesive, so I can take that off, use that to seal it, just like that, and then you have to write what it is that's inside. It's just easier for your buyer to know what it is. So LED strip 
and five fuses. See, if you want to be extra cautious, sure, add a strip of tape just, uh, just to do it. And this is gonna go right here. Everything is packed now perfectly in here. So that is my amplifier. The bag already provides extra protection. Now I'm just going to get an extra box for my tubes and that's going to go inside separately and then we're going to add bubble wrap all inside of the box itself. Okay, so I've got another extra box. This is small. By the way, if you're going to use pre-used boxes, make sure there are no labels on it so there's no discrepancy when the shipping carrier is going through it. So this box already has bubble wrap and stuff. I tend to save my boxes that, from things that I buy online just because, you know, you could reuse it. I guess, you know, good for the planet and such. For the tubes, I'm not going to use a thick bubble wrap because I need it more for inside for the actual box. But I'm going to put the tubes in this box. These are already pre-bubble wrapped. I'm going to take them and put them together. Just like this. And just wrap that up. That's going to go in here. So that box provides extra protection. This is the most fragile part of the, uh, of the amp anyway. My tube guide is going to go in here. Hold up, nice and clean. Now, you don't have to tape this box. What I would say is to do the method of folding over. So you do one, two, three. You take this one, you kind of pop it in there. As you hear, barely any movement. Well, actually, there is a little movement, so you want to add just a little bit more bubble wrap. Hear that? Hear the difference? It's safe. We're going to use our big box. You're going to put a layer of bubble wrap on the bottom just like you did before. Make sure it's not too big or it's going to be a lot of movement involved and it's going to require more bubble wrap. So add some good layers on the bottom just like so. Here I'll do another one. I'm always worried about the bottom of, the, of a box breaking. I'm going to do crisscross. Okay. Now you've got the amplifier nicely packed, just like this. And as you can see, it's gonna fit very good. You've got space for your tubes, which are already like triple protected. So you see how the spacing is close to the walls, but there's still space for you to add some bubble wrap on the side. That's what you want. All you have to do, fill as much bubble wrap as you can to make sure that there is no movement inside. At this point, Use anything and everything you have to fill the gap. So whatever bubble wrap, if you have newspaper, use anything you can to keep your amplifier and the tubes in mobile. Now before I cover this completely with bubble wrap on top, take a look. You can see that all the corners and all the, uh, the borders of the box are completely bubble wrapped. You already saw the bottom that I did. I did a double layer. And now all you're gonna do is finish it up up top. Make sure that everything fits good and that the box is not bulging because then there's a chance that the box might break open. All right, as you can see, we're at the top. Check the size. Like I said, make sure it fits very comfortably, it's not bulging. Make sure you can close the box where everything is nice and fitted, and then give it a good shake. You hear that? There's no, there's no movement. That means this box is ready to be shipped. As you're closing it, try to keep it together. I don't know if you can see that sometimes a box might separate where the lines here are not touching. When you're taping it, tape in both directions going this way and that way and try to keep it a nice tight seal just to further keep the uh, box, you know, from opening. Use as much tape as you can because tape is going to be the only thing holding the box together. 
you never know what might happen. So I do my first one just to hold it down. I'm going to do layers going around and a layer going on top. Okay, that's nice and packed. I do this at work sometimes when we're fixing boxes. I'm just going to go around. And there you go. Now, you've got a perfectly packaged tube amplifier ready to be shipped off at your convenience. And like I said, just do a fine, just make sure that it doesn't shake inside. At this point, you can give it a final shake. You hear that it's solid, there's no movement, and you are set to go. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this tripod's kind of low. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. I'm more than happy to help. And thank you for watching this video. Like I said, it's not professional quality. I just did this off the blue because I am shipping this for someone that bought it on my reverb. So uh, yeah, stay safe. Have a great day. Thank you.